Hello, dear student. I welcome you to this lesson. Yes, we are having wonderful lessons in Social Studies Standard 8. Remember, Social Studies is all about the things that affect our societies. Now, we have been looking at a number of issues to this one. You can remember different things about culture, uh, the Greek civilization, all those things, the solar system, partition of Africa, slave trade in West Africa, movement of the earth. We've looked at all those things. I guess you are really following. If you miss, please replay those videos because you are supposed to know these things while you are in Standard 8. Don't regret when you are maybe in Form 3, ah, I missed these in Standard 8. No, no, no. Know them well because at every class there is work for its own. So there is no need that you are in Form 1. Then you say, ah, ah, let me check my notes for Standard 8. No. Standard 8 work must be done in Standard 8. So remember to do that. So today we are still having another good lesson where we are looking at mineral resources of the world. Mineral resources of the world. So in this lesson, really, we are going to look at the resources and where they are found and their use. So we are going to look at that. So it's just a lesson of measuring the resources, their use, and where they are found. So we'll take our time to look at some of the major resources or mineral resources of the world. So this is unit number eight, and stay tuned. Let's be together up to the end of the lesson. But before I take you inside the lesson, I want to remind you again of the work of the Journey of Social Studies in Standard 8. Remember, this is the journey that you have to take. So these are the units that are there that you have to work on. So remember all these units, take your time, you can pause this video and look onto the, uh, these units because they are the things that you have to follow. They are the things that you have to study. So follow these lessons up to the end. Now back to business. Let us look at the mineral resources of the world. The mineral resources of the world. That is our work for today. So there are many different kinds of mineral resources in the world, as you know. There are so many. And some of them uh, we have coal, petroleum, gold, tin, copper, diamond, uh, and aluminium. These are just a few. But basically, there are many, many resources in the world. So these resources, they help in different ways. But now, let us go to each and every uh, mineral and look at the use and where they are found. So we'll quickly go through some of these minerals. Now, these major uh, minerals, starting with copper. Copper is used in electrical fields such as manufacturing the, uh, of radios, television sets, refrigerators, hookers, kettles, and pans. It is also used in making wires, cables, and many other things. It is also used, uh, it's an alloy. It's alloy are used to manufacture tubes, taps, and many other things. And also roofing, bearings, valves, bulbs, mountings, and ornaments. So as you can see there, copper is a mineral that, is, that has got various uses in the world. So, some of these things that we have mentioned here, you can see to it that they are used, maybe in your daily life, you still have to use some of those things. We have mentioned of cables here. We have uh, um, mentioned of electricity. Do you have electricity at your home? Just know that you have used, when you uh, have electricity, there is a property of copper in the use of electricity there. Cables, refrigerators, in the fridge there, there is copper. So you see, there are those minerals like copper. It is so useful in our day-to-day -day activities. And where is this copper found? 
It is now mined in USA, Russia, China, or Chile. This is Chile. They call it Chile. And Zambia, Canada, DRC, which is Democratic Republic of Congo, Kazakhstan. All these countries, all these countries here, they are the countries that produce copper, that mine copper and produce it to the world, and the world uses it like here in Malawi, we use it in the electrical uh, uh, factories, like we have talked of uh, electricity at home, in the refrigerators, in kettles, in cookers, there is that. So it is coming from these countries that we have mentioned about. Let's proceed to another another mineral. Another mineral is iron. Iron is used for making steel. The steel from the furnace is key to almost every industry. So it is used for construction of houses, bridges, ships, washes, and clocks. It is used for making utensils, iron sheets, pipes, and wires for making magnets. So you can also uh, see there, iron. Apart from copper, another mineral is the iron. So we are saying iron is also used widely in houses. It is used for manufacturing different things. We have talked of watches, bridges, chips, and many other things. They are taken, uh, iron is used. If you have, uh, uh, you can observe at your home there, iron sheets, you see iron sheets, those iron sheets from iron. So it means uh, it's another mineral, precious mineral, which people use in day-to-day -day lives. But where does this iron come from? Let's look at the countries where uh, that produce iron. Russia, Australia, Brazil, USA, China, and Canada. These are the major, major producers of iron in the world. So they produce to the world and the world uses them. So that's why you see that light here in Malawi. We don't make iron sheets, we import them. Therefore, these iron, uh, these iron sheets, they come from these countries that produce iron as a mineral. Let us look at the other uh, mineral now. Another precious mineral that we are going to look at now is gold. Gold, gold, it is used as money, a medium of exchange. It is used for manufacturing jewels, such as the washes and clothes, uh, for decorative purposes, such as earrings and bracelets, for alloying with other minerals, e.g. copper, silver, nickel, and zinc, for gilding, and uh, making gold paint used for ornaments purposes and also for uh, fountain pen nibs for photographic materials yes you can see now there that gold is really something that is very special as you can see here we have mentioned of a number or a lot of things that uh, are produced from God. You can revise them, you can see them. A number of things they come from God as money, a medium of exchange. You see, God can be used as money. So we see that God is another mineral that is also in use in our day to day activities. Earrings, you find that for decoration and many other things. It can be mixed with other things to produce other. Uh, other ornaments or other things, other steels, yeah, something like that. It can be mixed like coke with copper, silver, and nickel. So it can be mixed to form another, uh, another substance, another thing. For making things, all those things. So we can see to it that gold is really something that is needed in our day-to-day -day lives. For example, I've talked of money. Who doesn't need money? You need money. Everyone needs money. So we need gold. And where is this gold produced? Where is gold produced? Let's look at where gold comes from. Gold comes from South Africa, Canada, USA, Papua New Guinea, Australia, Ghana, and Zimbabwe. 
So you can see these countries are the major producing countries of God as a mineral. So God is needed and indeed there are also countries that produce this God as a mineral. Let's look at another uh, another uh, mineral. Another mineral to look at is now diamond. Diamond. What is the use of diamond? What is the use of diamond for jewelry, for cutting instruments, for making drills and abrasive? Diamond dust is used for polishing. So diamond has big, big dust. The one for jewelry. You can see jewelry because diamond it glitters a lot, it sparkles. So for jewelry, for cutting instruments, diamond itself is used for cutting instrument. Why? Because it is very hard. Diamond is very hard. Therefore, it is used to cut other instruments. Uh, and also uh, for making drills, like the drills, uh, making the holes or whatever. Those things, they are made of diamond and the diamond because it's very hard. Therefore, it is used for making drills and many other things. And diamond is also used for polishing other things. Can be used to polish other things so that it glitters, it, it sparkles. So diamond is used for that. Where does diamond come from? Which are the countries that produce diamond? There is South Africa, Ghana, Venezuela, DRC, Brazil, and Canada. So these are the countries that produce uh, diamond as a mineral. They produce it to the world and the world get use of it uh, or whatever they want it to use for. Let us look at the next uh, mineral. The next mineral to look at is the aluminium. Aluminium. Aluminium is used for construction purposes such as aircraft, cars, bridges, railways, and flooring. It can also be used for making electrical cables, can also be used for making uh, cooking utensils, for making bottle tops, for uh, costume jewelry. We also see here that aluminium is another important thing, important mineral because it, has, it can be used in construction companies, such as in aircraft. Aircraft uh, is made up of aluminum because it is lighter, it is lighter. It is like a steel, but it is a lighter one. In cars, cars are also made of aluminum. Uh, bridges, we talk of railway, railways and flooring, all those things, they can be used uh, uh, by aluminum. And for making electrical cables, for cooking utensils, like maybe spoons, maybe pots, and the like, they can also be made from aluminium. And costume jewelry, jewelry as well, just as we can use uh, diamond uh, for jewelry, also aluminium can also be used for the same. So you can see there, these minerals are very, very important because we need them on our daily lives. But where is aluminium produced? Where is aluminium produced? So there are countries like Australia and part of Jamaica, uh, Guinea, USSR, that is Russia and other countries. We talk of USA, Germany. They are the countries that produce it in a larger amount. But Malawi has a uh, bauxite at or uh, on the Chenya Plateau on Mount Muanti, Muanti Mountain, but it is not mined due to inadequate electricity and environmental concern. So in Malawi you have bauxite as in, uh, a, a mineral there at uh, Muanti Mountain, but it is not mined simply because of environmental concern and also it needs much electricity. So electricity is not as far as the up in the Moanje mountain, on the Moanje mountain. So because of that, we are unable to mine bauxite on the uh, Moanje mountain. Another mineral is the coal. Coal is another mineral that is also there in the world. So what is the use of mineral or this mineral coal? 
to provide heat and steam for driving industrial machinery, to produce thermal electricity, for domestic fuel in heating, for smelting iron ore, as raw well material in making coal, coal gas, and coal tar for making tarmac. So you can see there another mineral which is very important is coal. So coal is there to provide heat, basically to provide heat and steam to drive the machinery. So it can also be used to produce thermal electricity, that is electricity, and the, uh, for smelting other things. So basically, coal is used for heating. That heat can be turned into uh, energy that is needed for different purposes. But what is the use of, or who are the producers of, of coal? Coal is produced in the USA, China, Russia, Poland, UK, India, West Germany, and South Africa. So small coal fields are Wuhan and in Malawi, uh, at Mchenga, Ghana, Tangazi, Ichikwa district. Yeah. Now we see uh, coal that it is produced in uh, different countries, but here we see that even in Malawi we produce coal. We produce coal that is at Mchenga and also in Chikwawa there are also those coal mines there. So those are the countries that produce coal in, uh, in the world. Let us proceed by looking at another mineral. This is petroleum or oil. What is the use of oil? You can suggest. But here I have some. For motor vehicle fuel, for industrial power, for domestic purposes, that is heating and lighting, uh, uh, that is such as par paraffin. And for lubricants and greases, that is in industries and transport, and as a raw material in chemical manufacturing, for example, synthetic textiles, candle, Vaseline, and fertilizer. So you can see there, oil also is another thing that is very, very important. A mineral that is very important. In cars, in cars, cars they do use fuel. When, when we travel, we use fuel. So as a result, we use that mineral, which is oil. So it is very, very important worldwide. As lubricants are for domestic purposes, for lighting, we use paraffin sometimes for, for heating, all those things. So we can see that oil is also very important. But who are the pro producers in the world of oil? We have Russia, USA, Norway, Libya, South Africa, Venezuela, Nigeria, China, Kuwait, Iran, and the United Arab Emirates. These are uh, the world producers of oil as a mineral. Let us look at uranium as another, uh, another mineral. Uranium is also another important mineral. What is the use of uranium? Uranium uh, is used for generation of electricity generation of electricity or electric power in nuclear power stations. It is also used to propel spaceships for military bombs and missiles. So uranium is also important for electricity generation. And also astronauts who go to the space, they use uranium that propel the spaceship going up into the space. And in military, we hear about the missiles, intercontinental ballistic missiles. Those ones, they use uranium. They use uranium. Uh, uranium. So it is also another important, important, very important mineral. But who produces uh, uranium? Here are the countries that produce uranium. We have Russia, USA, Canada, Niger. Remember. I talked about this sometime to say this is Niger, not Niger or Nigeria. This is Niger. Niger. Austria, not Australia, but Austria. Austria. There is a country by the name Austria. Gabon. Gabon in Africa. And Malawi is mining also uh, uranium at Kairikera, that is in Kalonga. 
but at a very small scale cannot be compared with the other countries that have been mentioned here. So we see uh, uranium is produced in also different countries as a mineral. Now, having looked at these uh, uh, minerals, their use and the countries that produce them, now let's look at the importance. What's the importance of uh, having these minerals or these minerals? These minerals, they are very, very important. Why? Because they are a source of foreign exchange if exported. If a country produces, for example, I've said Malawi produces uranium. If we export that one, then we earn foreign uh, exchange. We are able to get money uh, from outside world. And also they are a source of employment if exploited. When we have discovered a mine, then we employ other people to dig, to go down the ground and dig those mines. So it's a source of employment. And also they provide raw materials to industries, just as we have mentioned. Like oil is a source of raw material for the cars. Without uh, oil, no cars there. Although nowadays they are producing electric cars, but still know most of the countries they need oil. Yeah, so it's a source of raw material. So all these that we have mentioned, the minerals that we have mentioned, they are the source of raw materials for the industries. Now, we can see there, you can add some if you can think about uh, the importance of raw materials. But now, let us look at the sustainability. How can we sustain these raw materials? How do we sustain the raw materials? Uh, uh, these uh, minerals. So sustainable ways of using minerals and their products. So the sustainable ways of using these minerals after extracting them is number one by recycling. By recycling it means if you have used you can reuse it, reuse it, reuse it. Then some uh, minerals they can be used for many times. For example we have talked of iron, iron. Sometimes we used uh, iron uh, for the other thing. Then you are no longer using that one. Then you can get it and recycle that iron. That's why we see that there are other companies that uh, buy the scraps, the scraps like the cars that were involved in accidents and the like. They get all the scraps, all the scraps. They go and reuse them, uh, recycle them, and they produce. Uh, uh, the same iron and for other materials as well. So, recycling. Reusing mineral products, e.g. broken car parts, uh, just as we have talked about. Reusing uh, the minerals, like the parts you can use, you reuse them for other purposes. For example, we talk of maybe car parts, uh, the tires for the car. You can use the same tire for the ox car something like that. So that is a sustainable way of using the minerals. Then just uh, to say, all right, these tires are worn out, then you throw them or just bend them, then that cannot be a proper way of sustaining the minerals. Also controlling extraction. Sometimes the minerals, because they are non-renewable, when you get it, uh, uh, you get it. It is not renewed there. So it is good to control, to have policies. That's why the government sometimes has the control measures to say, even if they say, we have found God elsewhere, the government will come in quickly to control its extraction, to say, what if we get all the gold today and we deplete everything today? Then tomorrow we'll have nothing. So uh, there has to be a control of extraction. Using alternative sources, alternative sources of energy, uh, for example, diesel from maize, uh, ethanol from sugarcane, biogas from waste, and uh, solar energy. So sometimes we need electricity. So electricity can be also generated from other things: uh, ethanol from uh, sugarcane, biogas from the waste materials, and the solar energy, which is already there. It is always there. So you can see those are some of the sustainable ways of maintaining uh, the minerals, 
and leave uh, their products. But to this far, we have come to the end of this topic where we are looking at the minerals of the world. The minerals of the world. We have looked at a number of minerals, gold, diamond, oil, and many others. So we have seen their use and the countries that produce these things. It is very important to know these things. But before I leave you, here is an exercise. So pause a little bit and go through the exercise. The secret is to understand the questions. Understand the question, then you are going to produce good answers. If you don't understand the question, you will not produce good answers. So pause a little bit here and understand the questions, write them somewhere and start pro producing the answers on the way you have as a uh, head or follow. Now, from here, uh, we are going to have another lesson. And the, the next lesson that we are going to have is uh, the Roman civilization. The Roman civilization. It's another good, good part or good unit that we are going to look at. Remember, we looked at the Greek civilization. On the Greek civilization, there were a number of things that we looked at. But there was also another civilization by the name Roman civilization. So in this civilization, we are going to extract again a number of issues pertaining to the Roman civilization. Until that time, thank you so much.